Hey guys, welcome to your instructional video on how to complete the Naya lesson of my Ancient Egypt website. Uh, make sure as well you access the link to the website which will, be, which will be located in the description below. So to start off in your books, writing down your to know, the Nile, and you're to be able to explain why is it, it is important. Um, make sure you write this as a bit of a heading at the top of your books. It's a good way to break up your information and know what you need to be able to know and to be able to do at the end of this lesson as well. Your first job, guys, is to write down uh, three facts from this video here. So while you're watching it, write down three facts of the Nile. It does a really good job of explaining why the Nile was so important for ancient Egyptians and how they used it. Next, underneath your three facts and your to know to be able to, please write down these notes. So ancient Egyptians were dependent on the Nile for food and transport. One of the reasons ancient Egyptians uh, became so powerful was because they had the Nile. So um, one of the, the two main reasons that ancient Egypt was such a, a phenomenal empire was because they had such a large uh, slave labor force and that they had the Nile as well. So they lived in a desert country, but they could grow things, they could grow food because they had the Nile, and they could also transport things over vast distances because it is the longest river in the world. Um, they also used to, they were really smart at irrigating it as well, so using the water and making new pathways for the water uh, to enter to really irrigate their crops as well. So some of the parts you, uh, of the Nile you can actually jump over um, because um, ancient Egyptians used to irrigate it and change it so often and so well. Uh, there were three seasons of the Nile, the flood season, the seed season, and the harvest season. And as well, Harpy is the goddess of the Nile. So the gods are very important in ancient Egypt, as we know as well. So guys, there's three sources for you here to complete the questions on. Source one is the three seasons of the Nile. So you need to answer what months uh, would people not farm? What months did people sow seeds and create the crops? And what months of the year did people harvest? So you need to look at that source quite closely there. Remember the answer won't jump out at you immediately. You need to look at the source, think about it, and then get your answer from looking at the source. Source two is the Nilometer. So this is a photo showing the Nilometer. Uh, it rises 90 steps off the riverbank, uh, and these steps indicate how high the water is getting. Um, so the Nilometer was used to show how high the Nile was getting during the year. Why was the Nilometer important for ancient Egyptians? So it's a device uh, they used to use a bit like a flood levy wall to measure how high the Nile was getting and why do you think it would have been a really important tool for them throughout the year. And then lastly, your last source is a wall carving of Harpy, the goddess of the Nile as well. So list the things Harpy is wearing in this wall carving and what you think they mean. So for instance, I can see here she's wearing a crown of reeds. So I think what that might mean, what that might symbolise or represent. And then lastly, guys, uh, if you click on this Kahoot symbol here, it will take you to a Kahoot on the Nile River in ancient Egypt. Um, so it's a bit of fun there. You can play with your class. So just to recap uh, this lesson, guys, writing down your to know and to be able to in your books, writing three facts from this video here, writing down these notes, uh, essential facts on the Nile and why it was so important. You've got three sources here, and then you've got a Kahoot you guys can do as a class as well. Um, guys, make sure if you like uh, these teaching resources and you want to stay updated on new ones or you want to stay updated on any changes I make to this website here, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks, guys, and I'll see you for the Social Structure instructional video.